What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and unlike most of my videos, this one's actually not going to be a reaction as much because I managed to see the content that I'm reviewing today before I actually did the video, but I still wanted to cover it a few days old, but you know what, I figured hey, I still might as well do something about it anyway. Some of you may not know about this. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Tyler Haidt because he's the one that actually, sorry by the way, I'm, this is the fucking hood, <laughs> this is what I gotta deal with, but I mean, yeah, Tyler Haidt, this guy actually showed me this um, previously and I wasn't exactly sure how to take it because I thought it was maybe some kind of a hoax but either way I'll have a link to this in the comments below or in the description rather um, Tyler shout out thank you very much for showing me this first but um oh my god Etika you have to check out this custom Mewtwo amiibo someone made and you have to understand the confusion that I had when I first laid eyes on that sentence I was like wait what the fuck are you talking about a Mewtwo amiibo custom but when you click the link to the image, it's actually true. Someone managed to create a custom Mewtwo amiibo by appearance, and the this job was impeccable because look at the look at the art on the back of the box. Like right as of right here, you can see the Mewtwo. Like, 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 like look, look, look. Shit is crazy, man. It's really good quality. Whoever created this is definitely an artisan in some field because this is a really good job. Now, if we cycle through some of these other images, you can get different angles. And, you know, of course it's not really perfect, but then again, this is pretty damn good considering that, you know, we don't have an official Mewtwo character model that's like HD, so they had to probably come up with that background art custom. and. They have the box intact as well too. They have the they have the character artwork on the back of it. That's insane. And plus they have the stand for the amiibo as well too. It seems like they did a 100% customized job on this. And unlike all those character defects that happened with the whole fucking Marth with the extra head in the pack and Bowser with his head off, Diddy with part of his head missing, we actually have a truly custom amiibo in the full sense of the word with the boxing included, this is amazing. And this just goes to show you that Mewtwo is worth getting hype over. And if there's any human being on the face of this planet that can verify that sentence for you, it's your boy Etika right here. Amazing job. I can see this selling for more than those um, Amiibo defects now because there's so many of the defects, so the value is sort of lower, you know? And if you've been keeping up with the prices that these defected Amiibos have been selling for lately, they don't exactly go for, you know, tens of thousands like the legless Peach did. Now they're only going for maybe five maybe a thousand if you're lucky and you get a really fucked up amiibo but this Mewtwo one is amazing a real piece of work and its value will increase even more if there is never a Mewtwo amiibo released in the first place so but then again there probably will be considering the hype and you know how much people love Mewtwo in Smash Brothers there probably will be a Mewtwo amiibo somewhere in the deep future but for now this is definitely a great replacement and if you're lucky enough to get your hands on this then wow battle with the amiibo and Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and it, it really goes all the way out. I'm impressed. I'm extremely impressed. Obviously, when you put the amiibo to the to the um, gamepad, you're not gonna get Mewtwo. By the way, I'm just telling you, he hasn't been released yet. So if you put this to the gamepad, you ain't getting fucking Mewtwo. But still, an impressive job. I would love to um, know who created this originally, so I can give them credit for it. But for now, in the description, you'll get a link to this guy's Twitter where he showed me this first. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.